Improvement pill here. An interesting experiment called the Marshmallow Challenge was conducted by a design consultant named Peter Skillman. He worked with four unique teams. A group of recent business degree graduates, a group of lawyers, a group of CEOs who ran their own companies, and a group of kindergartners. He provided each of the teams with the following tools. 20 sticks of dry spaghetti, one yard of tape, one yard of string, and a single marshmallow. Now the rules for this challenge were really simple. Each team had 20 minutes to try and make the tallest structure possible with the marshmallow on top, and the structure had to be able to stand on its own. Now this challenge may seem rather simple and straightforward, but the results might actually shock you. See, the teams that did the worst were actually the recent business degree graduates. Following them in third place were the lawyers, in second place were the CEOs, and in first place with the tallest structures were the kindergartners. Wait, how is this possible? Because it's without a doubt that a group of CEOs, people who run multi-million dollar businesses, should be more competent than a group of kindergartners, kids who are still learning their ABCs and simple math. How in the world did the kindergartners win? Well, here's how the experiment usually went for most of these groups. The first couple of minutes were usually spent getting organized, figuring out who was in charge, figuring out who would do what. Then the groups would spend a decent amount of time arguing about which method was the best. They would hold votes and vote for the best idea. And then finally, after all of that planning, they put together a prototype and finished right on time with just seconds to spare. But more often than not, they would fail. Most of these prototypes, most of their structures were unable to stand on their own. The only group that didn't follow this sort of protocol were the kindergartners. They didn't plan, they didn't argue about who was in charge, they didn't vote for the best idea, they just jumped right into it, making prototype after prototype, failing and failing, but constantly trying again. And by the time the 20 minutes were up, they had tried on average 5 different structures as compared to the average of just one structure the other groups made. The kindergartners won because they tried and failed more than any other group. Uh, some improvement pill, what's the point of this? Why are you telling us a story about kindergartners and marshmallows? Well, this experiment actually gives us a lot of insight on how we should approach certain problems in our own lives. You know, I see this happening all of the time. So many of us, when confronted with new obstacles and challenges, get obsessed with planning and figuring out the best way to solve it. Some of us think, oh, I just need to read another book to make sure I know exactly what to do. Some of us think, ah, I just need to go back to college and get a better degree so that I'm more qualified. Some of us think, oh, I should just wait and wait for the perfect time when all of the stars align, then I'll take a shot and it should work out. Oftentimes we spend way too much time thinking and planning and not enough time doing. But as you can see from this simple little experiment, sometimes it doesn't matter how competent you are. It doesn't matter if you are a CEO or a lawyer or have a fancy business degree because you can be beat by a group of kids who can't even tie their own shoelaces simply because they try and fail more than you do. Now don't get me wrong, learning is incredibly important as it exposes us to new ways of thinking, but oftentimes we become paralyzed with information. Remember, it's important to learn, but it's equally if not more so important to take action and test out what you've learned to see whether or not it will work for you. And it's okay to try and fail because then you'll know what doesn't work and you'll be able to get further the next time you give it a shot. And trust me, you'll be surprised by just how far you can get and how much you can accomplish by just giving things a shot. That's the lesson of the marshmallow challenge. This episode was brought to you with the help of the guys at Blinkist. Now it's important to tackle your challenges head on, but that doesn't mean you should always do so blindly. You need to be constantly learning so that you can apply new knowledge to your life and see improvement. And Blinkist is perfect for this. Blinkist takes the key teachings from thousands of books and then compresses them into 15 minute summaries that you can read or even listen to. It's an app that I've been using for quite a while now and it's helped me out a lot. See, I'm constantly looking for new ways to improve my own life, so I'm always on a hunt for new information, but I simply don't 
don't have the time every single week to read dozens of books. Blinkist allows me to quickly learn about new topics and techniques so that I can jump in like a kid and try them out. Go to www.blinkist.com forward slash improvement pill or click on the link in the description box below to get access to their new promotion. The first 100 viewers who click on this link will get an extended one week free trial. One of my favorite summaries on their app is actually their summary of the seven habits of highly successful people. These are seven powerful habits that will drastically change your life if you can implement them. So I highly recommend you guys to check it out. Besides that guys, stay tuned.